guys in this video we are going to see how to print this diamond pattern in C programming language now to illustrate this one better we put it in a box diagram so we can make a relationship between the rows columns and the way it is now let's look at this one here you can see that this is going in odd number pattern like it's going from 1 3 5 7 and 9 after that it's decreasing so what we are going to do is we are going to create nested for loop but we are going to create two main nested for loops so we can separate them and do it individually like we are going to separate this first half and we are going to do the for loop individually and then we take the bottom half after this middle line after this five from the six we are going to take this uh, bottom part and we are going to create another for loop and uh, we are going to create the pattern now first of all we have to know the relationship like we have to create equations in order to put the spaces and the stars asterisk signs and spaces are decreasing by like first we have four space three space two space one space and the equation we can create from this like it's not just uh, you cannot quickly create it but if you are getting used to it if you get used to it you will create it immediately like you can create it faster the pattern is like if we have five five like uh, we are taking the top half for the first for loop so that's going to be five rows and if we take five total number of rows is going to be five total number of rows minus the row number so if it's first row if you subtract this one that's going to give us the space number and if it's second row if you subtract the second row that's going to give us the three and third row if you subtract from five you get two and that way we can create the relationship for the space and also we have to create a relationship for the stars and if you can you can see that it's going like one three five seven so you can see that number of rows multiplied by two minus one always give you the number of stars like if you if it's first row multiply by two that's going to be two minus one you will get one and two times two minus one you will get three three times two minus one you will get five and four times two minus one you will get seven so you have to know the pattern like recognizing the pattern is the main thing in these kind of things like to create the pattern printing now let's go ahead and and also in the bottom part same approach you have to know the pattern how it's decreasing and again this is going like one two three so if you know the top part it's easy to the, do the bottom part because you already know how it's working right now let's go ahead and create our for loops so first uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take this we are going to create this top half until this five for that one what we are going to do let's uh, okay let's erase this part and first of all I'm going to include number of rows total rows let's say 5 equal to 5 you can put whatever the number you want to print so we can try many different numbers after we created it so 5 semicolon after that integer integer row column space and then column star semicolon after that we are going to create a for loop <clears throat> so here we are going to create row so row is equal to 1 and then row is less than or equal to total rows and row plus plus <clears throat> right now we are going to create the equation for the space as we discussed before we are going to we are going to subtract row number from the total rows in that way we will get the space number right now let's go ahead and create it and again we are going to create a for loop inside so this is going to be four column space 
is equal to total rows minus row column space greater than or equal to 1 and then it's decreasing by 1 so column space decrement minus minus now let's see what's going on here so first of all okay let's bring our pattern <coughs> so you can see that from the first one total number of rows right that is here minus the row number so if you subtract you will get four spaces and if you subtract this row number you will get three spaces right and that's how we created this pattern now we have after we created this pattern we have to put a printf statement to print that space so this is going to be printf printf and a space okay and after we close this one and again now we have to create a for loop for stars for loop for stars that's going to be column star is equal to 1 and then column star less than or equal to 2 times row row minus 1 minus 1 and column star plus plus okay now let's see what's going on here so here we have to see look at this one okay the number of stars the pattern we seen like if you multiply the row number by 2 and subtract one from that you will get the star number in the first row we have one star right and if this is in the first row so row times 2 that's going to be 2 row is first row right 1 times 2 2 minus 1 that's going to be 1 2 times 2 minus 1 that's going to be 3 that's what we created right here 2 times row minus 1 and if you try this one you will get same number of stars and then okay here we have to have one semicolon only so let's get rid of this and then to print this star we have to again put a printf statement for star that's going to be printf printf star <coughs> and then <coughs> printf and we have to leave a space printf new line okay then semicolon now this is the top part now let's see whether it works now let's run this one and see okay there are some mistakes let's correct those mistakes the first one total rows okay total rows this will be capital okay now let's run and see and we are missing something okay this one open is this this is open this is open closed okay this one this one <coughs> okay there is something wrong with the curly bracket let's see what's going on first we have put this one right here after this this and then this one closed right here this one also closed right here mm, this one closed maybe we should okay let's see one open two open three open and we closed one here two here one more okay Error expected. Okay. Oh. 
after print of hydrogen put this semicolon okay here also semicolon now it should work okay now we are getting the top part of this star now again after this <coughs> we have to create the bottom part to create the bottom part again for loop we are going to create a for loop and uh, row is equal to total rows minus one here we put minus one previously <coughs> previously you can see we didn't put minus one here total rows are just remaining like this right here we put minus one because if you look at this one after five first in the top half we had five but in the bottom half we only have four right in that way only we can create diamond shape the top should be a little bit great like greater than the bottom part that's why that this is one always one greater for example if it's 150 like if it's 99 if it's 50 should be this one 49 should be the bottom part and that's how the pattern goes that's why this is total rows minus one and <coughs> row is the total minus one semicolon row is greater than or equal to one and then row is decreasing okay so we put decreasing because here we treat this one as after this five we treat this one as four three two one in this order that's how we think about this we shouldn't think like increasing we should treat this one separately so for uh, we should think like four three two one that's why it's decreasing right here and then <coughs> Four. Now we are going to put a four. Create a for, for loop for the spaces. So this is going to be column space equal to one. Column space less than or equal to total rows. minus row <coughs> and uh, column space space plus plus okay so total number of rows minus one total number of rows is okay four okay before we put 5 5 minus 4 right so we keep the four, uh, 5 as our total number of rows minus 4 this, we treat this one as 4 3 2 1 that's how we get one space right now column space increasing and we have to create a printf statement for the space that's going to be printf space and then semicolon after that so we are done with this now we have to create the for loop for the stars okay for column star is equal to one column star less than or equal to two times row minus one so we seen that before like if you multiply the row numbers by two and subtract one you will get the number of stars so let's look at this one four this we treat this one as four so four times two eight minus one that's going to give us seven star this is three so two times three that's going to be six six minus one that's going to be five so that will work right here and then column star 
<coughs> plus plus and then we have to put a printf statement for the stars so this is going to be printf sorry printf star and then semicolon and finally that's it now we have to finally leave a line after this printf k backs backslash 10 and then semicolon and then we have to close the curly brackets we close two brackets so already one is closed so we just keep one okay, let's run this one and see what we get total rows again this should be capital r right here <laughs> okay and this is o mm -hmm. okay now you can see the diamond pattern and you can change the number like for example we can try 10 and that's going to give us a bigger diamond shape and you can try many different values right and that's how we do this kind of pattern printing in C, program, C programming language I hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time